And in that process, our quest has been fundamentally about knowledge. We have no concern for wisdom in our times. It's about knowledge. And more, we have arrived to a place where learning is about gathering information. Have you noticed that? That's what we did. We go to a course, let's get information. The more information I have, the more I know. Oh, my dear friends, how many people you know close to you that they have little information and they are very wise? <laughs> and how many of you know people that have a lot of information and you cannot even live with them? <laughs> when I am teaching from a different emotional place, it's not about giving you information. It's about shifting together, creating context in which the best of us blossoms. That, for me, is coaching, too. The context. It's not the information I provide. It's the context we create with our client, our student, your, your kids. That context where once you walk in the context, the context is created in such a way that you have no choice but to blossom. That is masterful coaching. Are you with me? Are you? Please, because this is for me critical to look. Let me say it again. Humankind, once in a while, requires, is of the essence, that in order to move on, we need not incremental learning, we need lip learning, discontinued kind of learning, a new understanding of the world, a new cosmology in which new possibilities open for us. Look at us. Everything for us is technology. Every understanding is mechanical. And for me, what coaching came to do, no matter how good or not good we do it, is to break that and to enter in conversation with our clients where life finally visits us back. We want to talk about all aspects of human experience not reducing everything to a technological explanation. For me, coaching is about that. And the crisis of our time is demanding all our efforts. Because the truth of the matter is that you take a picture. If you read the last scientific reports on environment and energy crisis, Truly, there are two ways to read them. Or you go straight into denial, which is common, or you get depressed. So my invitation for coaching is, we need to have those conversations without denial or without depression. We need to invent a new space to hold them. That, for me, is coaching. That, for me, is coaching. <laughs>